This episode of The General's Gentleman is sponsored by Offworld Trading Company, a truly innovative RTS focused on market manipulation, advanced economic management, and corporate sabotage. Profit from the life support needs of the colonists and bankrupt your friends in the process. Welcome to The General's Gentleman. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Company of Heroes 2. We are very excited to be here. We have two very top players on the Winter Balance Preview. Super hype. And which version is this machine for our lovely viewers? Uh, this, this is this is 1.6. 1. 1. 6. Okay. And we are very glad because uh, it's actually like a, a week and a half after this game was posted. And so the current build is actually 1.7. But for whatever reason, my descriptions didn't update. So we went to cast the Hans uh, game, the other one that we have. Uh, and it was like sync error. And I'm like, what? Is, is there 1.8 out already? But no, it's because it didn't update, so we can't actually do this old version. So, glad we don't get to miss out on this one. Yeah, it is, it is good for everyone, machine. Very keen. Uh, players today, Von Ivan, of course, going to be spawning in as our Soviets. He has started off with the three engineer build. Yeah, th this isn't a thing. Uh, like, you say the three engineer build, it's a little bit misleading. It was like the three dozer build. I was going for yeah. that kind of vibe, though. You, so. should, you should have said it was a three <laughs> yeah. engineer build. Uh... So let's see how this goes. I mean, double engineer is is legit uh, because you want to have the flamer, you want to have the sweeper. Uh, they're cheaper than conscripts, so if you're going heavy maxims or whatever it is, it does give you a bit more momentum. Uh, however, Von is going for the clown car, so it, it kind of makes sense. But I still don't really understand what three engineers offers, which two wouldn't. Three times as many repairs. <laughs> Yeah. Well, technically over two engineers you have 1.5 times as many repairs, but well, ma maybe you, you have enough engineers, you, you repair through triple and damage on an M3 and it just, just, just 1v3s of them or something like no, that. No, 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 so. I, I think you're on the right track there, Blake. <laughs> yeah. Really what it's about is out-repairing the, the DPS of a 222. Nice. Then the M3 nice. can just 1v1 that scout <laughs> card, and, and meanwhile the engineers are uh, spot-wielding as best as they can. Helping Arns has incredibly good map control, as you would expect, uh, with the the very fast Ostrupen, Ostrupen do give you good map control. Uh, the thing is with the the clown car is there's going to be a lot of Panzer Faust. It's going to be hard to force off the six man squads. The the clown car is more about wiping things on retreat and dislodging MGs. Uh, but with with the six man Ostrupen squads, you kind of just sit there taking the M3 damage and being like, well, I have double fuel, so I don't really care what you're doing. Yeah, Helping Hands has kind of inadvertently found a really good counter to Heavy Engineer play because you, Ostrupen, they, they, as you were saying earlier, Machine, they have incredible capping power and Engineers have the opposite of incredible capping power. They have unincredible capping power. It's it's not very is flash. That a word? It totally is not, but okay. <laughs> we'll roll with it for now. Uh, the Engineers, they want to avoid engagements at all costs, but because the Ostrupen are putting so much pressure on the map, they run into engagements all the time. As you see here, as soon as they try and cap a point, they're going to run into engagements because the Ostrupen are everywhere. They're like Echelon, where they, they can cap pretty well because they're cheap, but once you get to pass through... Oh god, this M3 is going down. Fast. Yeah, one foul, second one should be up here. There we go. Unfortunately, the uh, triple repair strat uh, won't be working this time. But yeah, once you get to about three minutes or so, uh, and you're going to actually start fighting, then you're going to be falling off. And generally, against Grenadiers, the M3 would, would make up for that, because you would have a lot of pressure with that M3. But the Ostropin is... I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional, but it's certainly a counter to it. Uh, however, Penals will be fantastic versus Ostropin, despite the changes in the Winter Balance Preview. Has been switched up a little bit. That will be fantastic, as you were saying, Machine. Second M3 going to be out here for Von Ivan. Obviously, key to his stratagem. Probably going to be putting the penals in there. Moving them around. But still, Helping Hounds is looking pretty fantastic. Wow, he rebuilt it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's clearly a reason. He must be going for something here. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this. Um, All right, so it's a, it's a, it's a clown car. The, uh, the old regular kind. Yeah, because the thing is, as well, is it, it shouldn't be too much longer until we have their scout car. The 222, that is. And then it's going to be hard for him to keep his M3 alive, uh, unless he goes for a squad of guards and then gets, you know, the PTRS inside the M3. But it's, even then, it's still not very, really, not that good. So, we've got a half-track coming out here for Hans. It's going to do great 
in maintaining his field pressure. After seeing this M3, you have to wonder if he's going to cancel it for a 2-2-2. He might do. I don't think it matters. Yeah. Because you just have so much staying power. Yeah. And you just run your Ostrupper up to the M3. If you land a foul, it's great. If you don't, you just reinforce the lost models. Mm. It's trying to fight with engineers. This is a losing battle. Uh, that being said, though, once he gets flamers on all of his squads, then he will be uh, trading pretty well versus the, the Ostrupper. But it's the scaling. I'm not, I'm not convinced, Blake. Your voice doesn't uh, lead me to believe you are convinced, Machine. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not speaking with uh, optimism, am I, for no. Von Ivan's build. But hey, I'm glad it's not Maxim spam. I like to see him doing something yeah, different. what a change up. Yeah, so with the 1.6, Winter Balance Preview, 1.7 and 1.8 is the same. Uh, we're, we're trying a different approach to the penal, so they don't have the PTRS in this version. Uh, instead, uh, Tier 2 is actually cheaper. Well, rather, Tier 1 and Tier 2 is cheaper if you already have one of them built. So it's we're trying to incentivize uh, unit mixing of different tiers because the, the manpower cost is quite a barrier to entry and generally players aren't willing to, to tech swap, to back tech. So having either tech discounts the other one. Uh, so you can get the discount out easier and such. Um, I prefer PTRS personally, but we will be trying both approaches. Uh, once again, this M3, oh no, he might survive. Seems right for now, 2 2 not going to be diving after, at least for the moment. Seems as though we're going to be able to call this replay the one with lots of fire machine. Uh, <laughs> helping out having gone for the um, upgrade on that half track to start burning down these combat engineers. And unfortunately, their, their fire is just a little bit better against infantry relative to the combat engineer's ability to burn down a half track. Yeah, so he actually has the 80 satchels here. And he's trying to bait with his mine. I mean, this is probably a little bit too obvious, though. Uh, let's see if Han's falls for it. Yeah, the AT satchels, they're, they're like the AT, the sickies in Ko-1. I don't think he, what happened doesn't probably realize it. He should be able to satchel this. It's, it's like the stickies where you have to connect the entire animation for it to actually go through. But they're very powerful, you know, the satchels. So it gives a bit more soft, um, anti-tank as well. Like, more defensive anti-tank. We're going to be taking a few more hits here. Against M3. Looking towards our map control, still mostly in the hands of Helping Hans. Von Ivan is doing a good job of cupping up the north. VP is currently sitting at 424 for Von Ivan, compared to 500 of Helping Hans. So I think the idea is he just wants maximum flamers, because flamers are really strong. And I suppose the counter to that would be a double MG. Or Panzergrens as well are pretty good versus flamers. He's going for Panzergrens now. The half track also really helps out. It's much safer to have that from a half track when there's a distinct lack of conscripts on the field. Yeah, that's true. You have a lot more mobility with it, whereas in regular games you tend to run across scores of conscripts pretty regularly. The main thing you have to worry about here is mine, so I don't think we'll be seeing Helping Hounds using it incredibly aggressively, but it will be certainly using it at range. The first squad of guards out here, but I've been of course going for that very early lock-in. Guard, motor, coordination, no, no, no. swag, guard, mechanized support. It's ISU. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, ISU one. Yeah, okay. Mechanized support. Cool. The good assumption, you are 90% likely to get that one. Yeah. I was just going to keep throwing words out there until I uh, cobbled together a nice mix that actually worked. Yeah, it's, it's a, a brute force approach. You just you just keep stringing those words together and eventually you get the name of the commander. Uh, so, Pigren's very, very strong versus the Penals. So, Penal's going to have uh, a bit of hard time trading any of behind cover. Try and stay at range if possible. Guessing DPs here for the guards. Yeah, he already yeah, has them. already has DPs, yeah. Interesting. We're going for the old uh, Vehicle Hunter squad inside of the uh, the M3. Actually, one thing worth mentioning uh, is... Oh, if the M3 could get caught. There's rather the, the, the half-track, the 251. PTRS on the chase. The half track will go down, but the 222 has moved up. No! He actually fired the half track. Now, I'm pretty sure you can't micro that. I believe you yeah. cannot micro yeah. the squads inside of yeah. uh, of garrisons, the open top vehicles. So the the uh, MG goes down. That's stolen. Uh-oh. 
and three also very close to going down and uh, dropping guard models. They do decide to e back out of that one. That's incredibly close, and you are right, machine, of course, uh, on those open up vehicles. I believe the prioritization is just like whatever cool vehicle is close enough to uh, to shoot uh, at the guards have a, a better chance of hitting that. So, so. there's actually a value that each right. like okay. squad has yeah. or entity uh, that has a priority value. So the the, the two to two must have had a higher. Uh, priority because I think actually the 2-2 was further away like wasn't the half track closer uh, when the retarget went on I'm not sure it was close I think the 2-2 would have been just closer maybe I don't know I'm not sure when the retarget came through the, the half track was going really quickly but it might have been before because you find with infantry as well it's you, you'll probably focus ranges before you'll focus echelon as in like the AI automatically targets uh, but the, the worst thing actually is when you have this the squad wipe half track the open topped uh, 250 and you have pigrens inside and there's like a weapon crew that has three models left and it's about to get wiped and then the pigrens start firing at a, a full health squad of say conscripts and you can't retarget it you have to like, evac the pigrens out and, and target it's 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 so infuriating um but yeah all these vehicles survive the m3 survives as well uh just a fun little piece of well not really trivia but uh, one of the updates in, in the balance preview Actually, no, this was cut. No, never mind. I was going to say the, two, two, the the M3 has more health but less armor, which actually would make it more resilient versus the 2 2s auto cannon, but relatively the same versus small arms. No, that was cut. Relic. The almighty Relic Overlords were like, no, too many changes. We must keep this patch very small in scale. Because of reasons, I don't know. Uh, this is demo. Probably wasn't close enough to get a wipe there. Would have been close, though. Right on the edge, and uh, Helping Hans now well aware that the vehicle hunters are out and about with that M3, so he should be playing even safer uh, with these two light vehicles that he has now. Doesn't want to get hunted down by already set up PTRS, as we saw in the previous engagement. The, the half track will go down incredibly quickly. So Helping Hans goes in the back foot for a little bit here until he starts getting. Something else is actually escalating to battle phase two the enemy now. Is taking our territory. I love that term. Oh, that bundle grenade. Oh my god. Jesus, that's a wipe there. That was a flamer wipe as well. Uh, the other engineer squad survives, but that's that's pretty important. Because I believe it was it was a vet two squad. It was at least somewhat better. So escalation is your term, or oh yeah, yeah I like the term because it's, it's yeah. not like oh he's hmm. checking up, he's not unlocking, he's escalating to battle phase two. Like that it sounds cool, cool, right? Yeah, it is cool for sure. T70 light tank has arrived. T70's here, the counter pack already available for Hans. That in conjunction with this. Oh my god. Two two two. That is diving deep. Okay, I don't know why he oh, he hit that because he thought he was gonna lose the M3, but if he just kept going, he probably would have been okay. I wasn't sure if he was um, he was Vet 1 or not. He would have had the overdrive if he was. Perhaps he wanted to nade the MG and try and steal it. Going for those crazy trades uh, is actually not a bad idea because the M3 falls off so hard that if you can try and trade it for something, then it's okay. T70 runs in, gets a few shots down here, machine, but the pack is set up. It's one shot on retreat. The, enemy has cut off a sector. Oh, the pack missed. Yeah, pack missed. Shot by the 2 2 on retreat. So the T70 is, is being changed a lot. If you guys aren't aware, it has 400 health, so it survives two pack shots. But its damage is, is much less. Still very powerful though, because it was incredibly uh, overpowered in the live game. And it, it's been buffed a bit since some of the earlier iterations of the Winter Balance preview. So we'll see how it performs. It's gonna be a bit harder this stage though. Six man Ostrip and squads already packed, already a vetted scout car. Shouldn't be uh, too far off a P4 either. Really deals out consistent damage now as opposed to con consistent squad, squad wipes. So it's a bit of a switch up that uh having a little bit of a different role, but it's in a cool spot now. And the uh the, the small buff certainly helped it out. It's it's less lethality overall because yeah. sometimes a T seventy would just instantly die to close cannon shots before you could even respond. Yeah. Um you know, but also it was wiping squads in the blink of an eye, so it's just more consistent. But overall, certainly less stronger as yeah. well. It was controlling the game far too much. The SU-76 out now for Von. If I was to guess, I, I'm hoping he's going to just stall out here on 
SU-76s if he can and, and start heading towards that ISU. Currently on 26 fuel, has a fuel point connected in a second for additional income there. Still a fair few CPs to bank up, currently on 7 needs 14. It's a very good map for SU-76s and the ISU, it's very open, so it's generally pretty easy to get those long range angles off where you can keep firing. There's some flanking areas, but there's a lot of choke points which you can mine the flanks off. Also, because this commander has marked target, so the anti-tank from Von Ivan should be pretty good. Uh, in that case, maybe... Ooh, that was no, that was swept, so it wasn't a wipe there. I was going to say maybe it's worth Hans going for his tier 4. And try and get a, a Brumba or a Panzerwerfer, because he will struggle trying to use a P4 versus... Guards, SU-76, marked target. A plethora of anti-tank. A what of anti-tank? Plethora, plethora? Ple yeah. Plethora. Like, I think you nailed it, machine. Either way, I'm down with it. It's one of those words that I, I read, but I don't know how to say it. I think I, I'm pretty sure I pronounce it plethora. Yeah, probably plethora. Wrong, but yeah. We are losing supplies to the enemy. And when it, when it comes to, uh, well, that's actually a nice oh. nade on the Ice Troopin. Oh, oh, they moved! Yeah. So as Blake alluded to in his excited screech, yeah. a lot of times you're better off just taking the nade uh, because it was through heavy cover. Uh, actually, let's see if these Ice Troopin go down. You can never be too sure when it comes to guards. The long range damage is good. Yeah. But because uh, heavy cover reduces damage, by 50%. I say damage and accuracy. But light cover is just accuracy. Yep. So grenades will do half damage, as long as it's through the heavy cover. So if you actually retreat, uh, and you go out of that heavy cover, then all of a sudden you lose that half damage reduction. Which sometimes is worse than if you slightly dodge. In that Definitely. case, it was yeah. a slight dodge. Slight dodges don't work out well. You actually stay as clumped as we saw there. The Austrian squad out of cover was just as clumped as it was in cover, so yeah. No damage reduction and still same chance of losing every single model in that squad. The SC76 is actually diving in here. This is a fantastic play by Yvonne. He had the sweeper, so he actually saw that teller, and as a result, he was able to dodge that one. Great position, though, from Hans. Try to back away. Here comes the P4. Yeah, just in time, but actually misses the first shot. Flame Maltrax still trying to duke around from this one, and the SC76, the main gun, has been destroyed. It is going to go down here at the same time. The T70 is wiped. The pack, here comes the P4. Oh, but it could be the T70 going down. The P4 is actually getting blocked by the pack. Ah, such bad timing. It was a great play by Vaughn, but the P4 showed up uh, just in the nick of time. Perhaps it was a little bit uh, greedy by Vaughn, knowing the timing of it, because it was that was a very late P4. He has still 40 fuel in the bank. So, uh, when, when your opponent has that fuel and you're expecting a tank, you've got to be careful, but it, it is definitely easy to, uh, to see the opportunity and just go for it, even though objectively it's a dumb idea, but when you're playing, you, you see an opening and you just go for it. I've done that many times. Yeah. you got to take risks to win battles sometimes. It's not the, the right move. Risks do win you fights. Bundle really grenade. Nice dive. Yeah, Maybe nice Teller. position. Oh, uh, Teller survives. There could have been a wipe if, if the penals dodged into the yeah. Teller. Uh oh, the satchel. Oh. Uh, so I, I think the heavy the wall blocked him there. It seemed like it. Yeah. It seemed like the the damage went down on one side, the wall not really on the other. Only getting one P grand model. I thought that could have been a lot worse. So I I don't know if that. Oh wow, the guards. He retreats now, but he goes down. I think it was actually the MG that killed him. The, uh, the little XP sign showing up. So with, with the lack of retreat, I, I feel like Hans would have seen that. Oh man, I just can't finish a sentence today, can I? 2 2, two going very aggressive. The defensive T70 should be able to force him off though. Uh, especially with the guards as well, they're moving in. People oh no, that was another shot off. People gets another. Oh, one more. 2 2 is going to try and finish this one off. The mark target is down to the people, so that one's backing away. The 2 2 actually managed to finish off the SU 76. That was very nicely played by helping Hans. Panzer IV surviving with absolutely nothing left. Okay, I didn't catch that P4. That was a nice play by Hans. I was like, why is he going in this deep with this 2 2? And then the P4 showed in, uh, got that shot off, and that was enough to, to turn the tide. So he traded a 2 2 for a SU 76. Great play. 
by Hans. And it's as I mentioned earlier, it's it's those scout cars, they do fall off. Uh, okay, this is perhaps not a good idea. Oh no, that is a good idea! Look at this Panzer IV! It is oh low. my god! It is low and a half. It, however, doesn't have a damaged engine machine. And the T-70 certainly does, so... In terms of, of juking, <laughs> jukes for days! Yeah, get it! Jukes for days! He gets the <laughs> shot! Rear armor will be a dead Panzer IV. Wow, what a play uh, from Von Ivan. Uh, try and kill this, this med bunker. Oh, uh, med bunker as well. I can't, he might get it too, yeah, because this pack is going to take so long to reposition. Another Faust goes off. This this pack can't fire past that T2. And the T7 is going to keep juking. This is genius. Panzer Grenadiers aren't upgrading with the, the, the Shreks. T7 is going to get that med bunker. That is just an insult to injury here for Von Ivan. Insult to injury. Helping Hans is not going to be happy. Yeah, I think Hans actually misplayed that. Because he, he went up north and then west if he just kept going on the he angle here juking, yeah. and got around the barracks he had he had the engine where the, the t70 was damaged as you said so uh i, I think he certainly could have played that better that's but... three faust worth of munitions blown here for hans <laughs> he's he's he is tilted off the face of the planet right now machine i bet he goes for another one here was he goes for to. another one yeah glad he's uh not okw in the live build it would have been 105 munitions there oh, we go oh that's nasty that's it's a lot of fouls. One less teller. Mm. Well, actually, more than one less teller. Two less fouls. Well, if it's your engineers. Oh, goes down, and Von Ivan really couldn't afford to lose any more squads. He was already low previous to that engagement. He was not looking good in terms of his squad count or his tank count, and uh, dropping those engineers is not fantastic, even after a fantastic T70 play. And it's really hard to get a vetted squad with a sweeper. Mm. You often get vetted flamers because they do a lot of damage, but the minesweep is hard. To, um, to get vetted, so losing that is unfortunate. I guess to rebuild the engineers. Um, is, is this a new squad? Yeah, it's a new squad that he yeah. built, so that's half of a guard squad. And Von, look, he has his uh, he has his command point for his ISU, but very far off in terms of fuel. Yeah, having to continually invest into the rebuilt SU-76 here machine, and uh, rightly so, with helping Hans going for a Panzer IV now. With Von Ivan's incredibly low squad count and lack of AT not going through SG-76 would be a huge territory. mistake here. Uh, he could just be rolled by a single Panzer IV or could just close the game out here. With the, the SG-76, he stands a bit more of a chance. Yeah, so that's what delaying, or rather denying, the, the SUs has done to Von. It's prevented him from getting the INC, which is the dream for him. Then he can just sit that back, just camp on two VPs and, and drag the game out. And he's actually already ahead on VPs, as well as the map control too. But this should change once the P4 starts getting some work done. Especially because for a while there, Hans was contained in his base because there was a T70. Yeah. The T70 was amazing. Killed the P4, destroyed the med bunker, and then just, just pulled every single one of Hans' squads into the base. The pack had to stay there, Austrian had to stay there, the MG was staying there. Uh, the T-70 bought a lot of time for Von Ivan to uh, get a bit of map control back. Snipe is actually still going to be a problem as well. Yeah, and especially with units like guards and penals, if they can get set up in good positions, it's very hard to dislodge that with Ostrippen and Panzer Grenadiers, particularly Ostrippen. So Ostrippen, uh, you know, the way their cover works, they, they definitely want to be in cover themselves. Panzer Grenadiers are not so bad, but... If, if, if the Panzergrens are charging up to either guards or penals, assuming they're even vet and there's DPs, they won't win. Unless they get a sick nade off or something. Really distinct lack of lethality against the sniper here as well, Machine. It's, it's really got nothing to worry about. A lack of squads means you don't tend to go for flanks, there's no T70 on the field to dive after the, the sniper either. It can just find nice engagements against these guards and not really be worried about throwing conscripts or anything like that. So it probably won't even be forced out of position, let alone taken down. Uh, actually, we see Von Ivan going for another SU-76 here, and he doesn't go for his gun. Yeah, th there was the change where SU Barrage costed 15 munitions, but had to get reverted, unfortunately. So, the spammability of SUs is uh, as strong as ever. Yep, the lorry starts to drop there. But it's actually a pretty big deal, too, because guards mark target, uh, you know, preferably even bombing run. It, it's, it's very munitions heavy. For sure. And, and so you can just keep spamming barrage and not have to worry about your munitions expenditure. You can just flip that up and use it for those abilities where other factions, um, you know, their abilities generally require a bit more decision making. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm really appreciating the ability to finish sentences, machine. 
Oh yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a luxury that you don't really appreciate until you get cut off by seven tank engagements in a row. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I should I should just stop caring and just finish my <laughs> sentences regardless and be like, oh yeah, the thing died. Oh yeah, the thing died. <laughs> Look at that. That was a it's Cindy. That was the the, the double tap. The uh, the shot combo there with the lightning the shock rifle. Um so he's actually going in with the SUs, and this Ooh, is yeah. a marked target a as mark well. Target. So he has the vision, he's blocked behind his bunker, but no, he's able to weasel his way through. I'm surprised that shot connected! He missed! Don't know if he's on an attack ground here. He needs to be careful of the Faust. He's going in for it. It's still probably worth it though. If he loses one SU, losing two wouldn't. Hard's on yeah, munitions. Hard's on 23 munitions machine. Yeah, he'll have the one Faust. One Faust, that's it. And he can't kill it, can he? Where's his pack? No. Oh, here it is. Pack's facing up now. So, okay, get the Faust onto one AC-76, so it'll at least be a trade, most <laughs> likely. But, but can he kill the med bunker? But can he kill the med bunker? Mm. The dream. Do it, Von Ivan. Do it to him. Yeah, he's gonna try. I feel like this isn't the best play. What he should be doing is using one AC-76 to barrage the pack while the other one tries to escape. So the... Right. Okay, it goes down anyway. It's one shot away, so maybe, maybe that wasn't the best play. Um, I guess you were never getting get, going to get out of that, even with the S other SUD-76 barraging the pack. Yeah, that's fine. It's a good trade. It certainly is machine. It takes down that Panzer IV. Uh, Especially with Panzer IVs, because having that Blitzkrieg so important versus SUs, ISUs, or just any turretless tank destroyer. So preventing that Blitzkrieg is going to make it a lot easier to keep these SUs in position. Seems as though for, for Von Ivan, uh, an ISU is a, is a dead dream. <laughs> it is dead in the water. Uh, commitment going for another T70 here as well. Uh, I, feel, I feel like this is a, this is a good move. The WAC-76 committed to the Panzer IV took that out. So that was kind of a, a major threat here uh, against Von Ivan. The Panzer IV closing out the game. Now what he's got to worry about is helping Hans as Helping Hans does, having fantastic squad preservation and an awesome squad count here. So he's got the, the Pegrens on Vent 3, he's got three squads of Ostrip and still the, the Pioneers, the, the, the Sniper's a huge threat, has the MG42 and a double pack here as well. That's going to be a big problem for Von Ivan the later this game goes, the fact that he doesn't have enough squads on the field. Even compared to Popcap now, Von Ivan has two tanks on 46 Popcap, Helping Hans has none on 61 Popcap. The real problem is the sniper and the MG. The sniper's gonna be manpower bleeding, the MG is gonna be locking down the map. Penals and guards aren't so good versus the MGs, but this pack gonna be getting a kill on the T70. There's two packs now, and I think with that, Von Ivan has lost too much momentum. It's gonna be hard for him to try and get the VPs back uh, when he's gonna be behind in vehicles, behind in infantry. Uh, garage. <laughs> he, he gets a free, a free wipe there on the, one of the models. Um, it's free, right? It, there's no cost yeah, to that ability. Pretty much. <laughs> but it will be a Panzerfaust. Doesn't bring any dishonor, and the packs are a little bit out of position, so the SU-76 should be fine. Oh, look at this, this penal squad on the retreat path. This could be brutal. Um, he needs to get in cover though, otherwise he'll lose to the Pigrins even yeah. at long range. Probably. Yeah. Von Ivan should lose this. Squad's down to about half health. Not oh, in cover. They have to the last man, but yeah, I don't know why he's not in cover here. Yeah, he retreats that. Oh, the sniper's oh, sniper gonna get as well. Him. That's dead. That's a dead penal squad. If one model goes down... Takes and... the shot, misses, but there's the incendi. Oh no, penal's forced him off. Yeah, doesn't go for it. Nice. So this is interesting. He actually bought a squad of penals. A fresh squad, that is, rather than a squad of guards. So I think the reasoning there is because he knows the problem is the sniper and the MG. And and guards are really bad versus both of those squads because they can't fire on the move with their PTRS and the DPs, which is like 95% of their damage. Whereas penals are actually pretty good offensively. They're, they're still just, they don't have URA, uh, which is... They're the weaker than conscripts against MGs, they don't have nades either. But still, penals are going to be, I think, a better choice, actually. Because, as I said, the problem is, really, the sniper and the MG more than the infantry. Our enemy has only 200 points. The other alternative is going for a Soviet sniper. But that's not good versus a vetted Vermax sniper, because the double tap is very strong against yeah. the Soviet sniper. Also not fantastic against the uh, Ostrupen. And the, the six models. Yeah. It takes a while to bleed those guys down. So it's not really efficient just sniping away at, at Ostrupen. I think the Soviet sniper is very underrated. 
but it, it can Still be situational. So. It can go down in the blink of an eye. Because the thing is with the, the Soviet sniper is it has two models, yes, but if the uh, my sentence can I finish it? Yes, I can. Excellent. Well, not really, because I interrupted yeah. myself. But with, with the Soviet sniper, so yes, you have two models. But the, the thing is, is when the the, the spotter and there's the sniper. If the the sniper is killed and there's the spotter left, the spotter turns into the sniper. But there's a delay. There's there's a, a one two second whatever it is delay where that transfer happens. Same with like if, if you know if you have a Shrek and the Shrek model dies, the Shrek is transferred. There's a delay there, and what that means is that. For that delay, the Soviet sniper can't counter-attack, and that's long enough for the Wehrmacht sniper to then get the incendiary off. So, it's actually not as good as you would think. The Soviet sniper, oh, it's two-man, it's good in sniper battles. But actually, it's not really, especially because of the cloak difference. So, unless at some point down the road there's a disagreement between the uh, Soviets and UKF, they, uh, we probably won't get to see that two-man advantage in a sniper battle. I'm still surprised that we've never casted mixed factions. Like, we haven't casted uh, US versus Soviets, mm. for example. Oh, the Satchel! The comeback Satchel! Comeback Satchel! The comeback by wiping off the stripping squad. Uh, I, I believe that's Hans's first squad loss. Am I, am I right? Probably. Honestly, I mean, it's Hans. I w wouldn't surprise him with the machine, so. There's a way I can check, but whatever. You just tap it around the buttons until you find. Isn't it a tap? I thought it was tap. Not no, I think it's like tilde, but it's not working. Oh, okay. Good. It was like you or something. I don't want to change my scene on OBS. I've done it before. You look up squad losses and yeah. such, but anyway, it's fine. It doesn't really matter at this stage. Uh, still double SU-76. So the Panzer IV still has to be careful, but with two packs, the SUs have to be even more careful. And looking towards our victory points, Von Ivan can certainly still win this one. He's on 332 compared to the 197 of Helping Hans. A really decent lead there, and you know, below 200, you're starting to get into some dangerous territory. You've really got to look towards getting a couple of VPs under your control. I like the Pegrens. He's putting another squad of Pegrens, so. Does he go for Shreks? That's what I'm thinking. Wanting to keep a combat squad and then having a, a squad for the Shreks. And yeah, then just, I, just, it, it just puts more mobile pressure on the SC-76s. Yeah, I, I think either way, even without the Shreks, it's going to be a good squad to have because he's versing low vetted guards. Uh, in the low, well, he has high vetted penals, I suppose. But he has the sniper still and the MG. They can play around. Uh, and this this MG is a problem. Uh, the sniper's a good counter to that, but especially with Pigrens to flank that and force it off. And she's gonna be going down now. Pigrens, if not the sniper. Either one can wipe it here. Sniper's, oh, well, I was gonna say out of range, but no, just within. There's the wipe. What's he gonna cap it with? Oh, the little old vetted squad, probably. Am not gonna go for it? I don't know how the guards are over here. <laughs> But they're gonna have to retreat for uh, two squads uh, of Pigrens. Do we have the sick and the sniper? Nave and the sniper is gonna take a shot. Oh my uh, god. And the Ostripen! <laughs> and the MG, the HMG oh, that's been recruited. So, yeah, that guard was. Yeah. Uh, the guard squad. Uh, I tried combining those two words. The guard squad was perhaps a little bit too deep. I mean, his idea was to try and wipe the pack. Uh, but it was a nice response from Hans, and there was plenty of things on that retreat path. With the MG, another one in the possession of Hans. I don't think we see him losing another victory point here. Should just send one of those MGs down down south. You've got that nice house to watch over the victory point. There's lots of good places to have an MG in that area. Just set it down there, cover the VP, don't have to worry about it. Oh, what's that? Is that, is that a, a PTRS? Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, well, actually, the PTRS, they're still very strong. Uh, but they are nerfed, so they're not quite as insane as they are. Chuck on an Ostrupin squad, so... Yeah, that'd be really good, actually. The real question is, can Ostrupin with one PTRS and Faust 1v1 or T70? So. If they're behind cover... Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it is an Ostrupin squad going for it, so... Intelligent work by Hans, grabbing that one. Surprising. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to want to do anything. It needs to get a sniper, I think, to try and dislodge these. 
right. What to do with Soviets? I mean, you could try not going triple engineers. You could also try not losing all your squads. Yeah. It's also an option. Well, really, the problem we went. I mean, the engineers, I think, were fine. The real problem was losing double M3s. Yeah. Uh, the M3s are so momentum based, and if they do go down early on without doing anything, and they really didn't do anything at all, uh, and those go down, not only does it delay your tech, but it is uh, one and a half squad losses early on. So I think that's the real problem there. The flame engineer spam actually wasn't too bad, uh, but losing that early game, especially versus Ostrippen, Hans just had too much map control. Uh, Von did do very well in his tank battles though, the, the trades versus the, the, the P4s, he killed two of them. So, nice game by, by Hans. Yeah. For Von, I, I don't think the ISU was ever really a tr an option given how many losses he had of his vehicles. There's too much fuel going down, it doesn't really become an option, but you kind of get into that medium tank trade play style. You just don't tend to get to those late game vehicles. Once you start heavily trading medium medium vehicles, it's the 76s, the Panzer IVs, just burns through your fuel because you have to replace them. Yeah, and what happens if one Ivan goes for the ISU? So not only does he lose a lot of map control in, in the during that process, but then also uh, he has to you know, be versing triple Panzer IVs. Okay, there's a Telemine here, and there's a pack, and there's a P4. Oh my god. That those his enemies didn't survive for very long. They are all kinds of dead machines. That, that Telemine was there the entire game yeah. as well. It was actually swept kind of early on, uh, but he, he forgot about it. What happens? So yeah, you would have been versing a triple Panzer IV, and that ISU would have overwhelmed far too easily. Especially if there was a squad of Shreks mixed in. Just too much, too much anti-tank, mobile anti-tank, especially. Yeah. Top T70 plays, we can always give that to Von Ivan, so... Yeah. That being said, I don't think Ostrippen... I think they are pretty OP. Especially versus US and Brits. They, they just give you so much early game pressure. Hans uses them a lot uh, in tournament play. We've seen him have great success with them uh, throughout ASL, Winter Balance Preview. And that was really at a time when, when Wehrmacht are struggling a lot more than they are now. Um, even, like, before Winter Balance Preview. I can't remember why exactly... There were some other changes, I think, that made the match slightly better. Because I, I think e ESL was in a worse state of balance than Winter Balance Preview. Like, you had the AECs and stuff. I remember those. Yeah. The AECs. That I remember were, the AECs, bro. Area of effect increased by five times. Accuracy increased by ten times. This should be fine. Uh, we're missing the chat here. Nothing much interesting has happened, so... But I think it doesn't really matter what happens. After you lose double scout car, it is so hard to recover. Yeah, Unless your opponent cool. throws, you, you can't really go from there. And that's kind of the problem with the, the M3s. They're very cheesy unit. Because they, they either kind of win you the game in the first five minutes, or they lose you the game in the first five minutes. And that's what we were trying to mitigate when it came to the consistency of them with the armor and health swaparuni to give them more health and less armor so they were a bit more consistent against small arms rather than being so RNG. Yeah. Um, but no, they couldn't go through. But even then, they still would have been a, a weird cheesy unit. What I did in my mod was I, um, I, I lowered their cost to, to 10 uh, fuel, but I, I, I gave a modifier so the units that were garrisoned inside had less accuracy. So the, the, the clown car aspect was less powerful. But the scout car aspect was the same. Mm. So Von's going for his sniper now. Little bit late. Just a little bit. It's like when you call your mum two days after her birthday. It's like, mm, uh, I suppose it's worth trying, yeah. but she won't be happy. Yeah. Not happy at all, machine. No. Helping Hans, Von Ivan's mother, putting him in the metaphorical doghouse all the way back in base. What's this? Oh, Crossing railway. Map. Oh, God. There's not in the base sector. That's on the <laughs> edge of the base sector. <laughs> the very edge. <laughs> all the off maps now no longer work in the base mm -hmm. sector. 
He's gonna snipe these uh, take buildings down. Oh, it's not not giving Von any breathing room. Not at all. Oh, two direct hits. One more. Oh, there we go. Always get that scatter on the third shot. It's weird. Pack should be our finish off that tier two though. BTRS even will do it. Mm. Oh, going the wrong way, Austrian. You've got a job to do. Prevent that sniper production. All right, Blake. Can I fast forward this one? Look, man. Yeah. I mean, it's Von Ivan. If Von Ivan was actually doing something, then sure. But it's just, just Von Ivan's classic. He never surrender. surrender. Von Ivan just doesn't surrender. And as a panther, anyway. Yeah. Slow it down and something fun happens. Right, the sniper's out. Yeah, don't we? Are we obligated under General's Gentleman casting rules to watch for a counter snipe? Or that's true. Yeah, that's true. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that. You are, after all, the the counter snipe supervisor. He has revealed it though. The enemy is taking okay. our territory. Ah! Get ready to slow it down. Just in case. Slow uh, down! Slow down! Slow down! Do <laughs> if we see a counter sign, it'll make the entire watching the rest of this game worth it. Okay. Oh, double tap! One. No, he Dub backs off. Oh, he backs off. No double tap. He's Sadly, actually out of munitions there. there. So, didn't uh, he was, was he? Alright. Probably what he was looking for. That's kind of sad. However, I do get re to retain my uh... My job title is a counter sniper supervisor. We didn't miss it under so. your watch. Yeah. Oh, oh, hang on. It's going in. As okay. I misclick the, the slow down yeah, button. Yeah, Panther taking paper to damage here with the mark target. WSC City 6 is going to finish this one off. The Panzer 4 is still firing. And the hero, Ostrubin squad with a PTRS. Oh. Valiantly trying to get a few shots uh, off as well. It's abandoned. Yeah, I didn't abandon. The thing is, like, it honestly wouldn't have mattered if. if Panzer 4 and the Panther went down and all SU survived. It wouldn't have actually changed anything. No, no squads left for Von. Oh, this could be a wipe. A comeback satchel. A version 2.0. Yeah. Uh, goes on the chase a little bit early, but still, that's that was close to ideal. That's kind of how you want to do it when it comes to chasing on retreat. You want to get to the point where running isn't going to interrupt your fire pattern. You take shots and then you start running so the, the penals are firing on the side, or any squad's firing on the side, and then the squad, the retreating squad one's in front of them, so they're firing at the front. So you stay as close as you can as long as possible without interrupting the fire pattern. It's the yeah. most important thing. So that was actually, that was fairly well executed by Von Ivan. I was talking about that in another cast, but it's, I, I that was pretty it, close. I thought it could have been a satchel on the wipe, but it wasn't quite the right angle. I don't know if you would have got it. We are losing a sector. Khan's building another panther. A panther has arrived from the far Counter snipe supervisor. No, oh, I don't. Wow. Is there a mine in the base? He's gonna finally get it. Goes for the sniper, gets it with his pin tool. The enemy is taking trying to rebuild one territory. from the uh, most damaged special rifle command that I've ever seen. Ah, oh, it goes down. No more snipers. Oh, there's just you gone. I can, oh, uh, I can hang up my hat. As kind of something to realize for this game. This map is cancer. This is a great map. Our opponents are seizing a sector. Well, I mean, uh, I should I should rephrase. In terms of Co2 maps, this is great. I yeah, I think it's okay. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, I think what I what I the worst thing though is, is when you're playing Brits on the east because you, you can't really go middle because the cutoff yeah. is too vulnerable. And then you try and go north, but the you know the close quarters combat is very very hard for Brits to fight around. It's still kind of one of your, your default go to maps when it comes to everyone vetoes off and things like that. You always end up on Famineville. It's kind of like uh, if you're if you're having a, a Call of Duty like one v one, you're gonna end up on Rust like right. like or, or shit, Rust if you're playing quick, quick, quick scopes only like kill zone Rust. yeah, uh, Karantan. Rankin yeah oh Dan Rankin yeah. <laughs> Um, well, that's it. Yeah, that was a nice game. Uh, this was the King of the Hill tournament, uh, hosted by Stormless. It was streamed live by Stormless and AE, so he's back in the scene. I was going to mention that, there was King of the Hill, but I kind of, I, I whiffed a little bit and I said the next game with Hans. So if I said he was King of the Hill, that would have kind of given away that Hans won. So I refrained from doing so. But yeah, so Hans is going to move on, uh, to his next opponent, which, I don't know if it's his next opponent directly, but the next game we have to cast is versus Nagano, who is a very, very top player. So that should be a nice one. GG, well played to Hans and Von. I think Von, 
Uh, he did the best that he could, and he did play well, but as I said, uh, after losing, uh, you know, having that bad early game was hard to recover. So, hope we see more of these guys playing in the Winter Bounce preview, but I don't even know how much longer the preview will be around. Uh, hopefully this patch will be happening somewhat soon. Yeah. Uh, the sooner the better, because yeah, it improves the game a lot over the live game, which is quite stagnant and quite unbalanced. So... Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the cast. We will see you next time. Cheers. Good cast. Fun stuff. So.